All right, guys, let's do this. Welcome back. The streak of consistency continues. I've got about five minutes. I want to bang this out. So thank you for joining me. The topic on my mind today is should you quit your nine to five? Good question. For most, the answer is they can't. If you're on the path, it's an option for you. It is legitimately an option. Now, there's a lot of other topics that kind of lead into this and that this one will bleed over into, you know, should you go to university? Should you go to college? Should you, you know, pursue this? Should you pursue that? It's a loaded topic. What I will say is don't try to escape your nine to five because you need to make more money because you don't have your life in order. It's a bad, it's a bad thing to do. The first thing you should do is sort yourself out. Priority number one is to fix all the things that are directly within your control. So your spending habits, your fitness, right? Don't, don't try to escape the nine to five so you can go to the gym. You have all the time you need. I just paused there for dramatic effect because for sure there's at least one person watching this that just blew a gasket mentally. <laughs> I'm amused. Thank you for your entertainment. That's funny. Yeah. No, if you, if you think you don't have time, bull. So, yes, yeah, so if you, if you want to escape the nine to five or if that idea appeals to you, just make sure that it's not like a compensation mechanism or because, you know, the bros on Twitter said that kind of stuff. But if you truly do, it's not that you want to escape the nine to five. It's that you want to do something different. Maybe you want to get paid differently. Just make sure your motivation is clean or legitimate on that, right? Don't do it to compensate for your poor choices. Don't do it because, you know, you don't like to work. Because I guarantee you, you'll find a new level of work when you take on entrepreneurship. Why should you maybe think about quitting the nine to five or escaping the nine to five, as somebody put it these days? I think if you have you yourself or a loved one has kind of complicated medical needs and then escaping the nine to five is a very good idea. I would place that at the top of the pile, right? If it's something to do with your own health or the health of a loved one and you need that flexibility and you need money because money doesn't buy happiness, but it buys expensive medical treatments that aren't covered by your local government, right? So that'll put a smile on your face every day. So bear that in mind, right? Life's coming. So having having resources, you can't knock that. It's undisputably useful. So, you know, if you, you know, a lot, a lot of people have, you know, a, a child that requires some extra care and they decided, hey, I want to escape the nine to five. That's, that's legitimate. That's honest. Good for you. Go get it, right? You have my full support. Um, and any variation thereof of that scenario, right? If you aren't feeling challenged in your career, which sometimes people articulate as or verbalize as, you know, not feeling fulfilled, looking to work for fulfillment is a fool's errand, okay? There's a lot more to life than work. So just make sure you're not missing out on relationships and experiences, right? We, we seem to place so much value on being busy. Somehow that adds a value to us. There's no intrinsic value in simply being busy. It's just an exchange of value. If you give time and you get something, just what drops you. If you, if you trade time and you get something that you want, need, or otherwise value in exchange, then that's good. 
period. That's really all there is to it. So, but there, we've just passed the five minute mark, so I gotta wrap this up. Escaping the nine to five, don't do it because it's cool or trendy or somebody said. Gotta have your reasons, ask yourself why. And I would recommend that you find somebody you have in your life, somebody that you know, and talk to them about it. Say maybe somebody you know, you know somebody who escaped. Talk to them about it, ask them their motivations. Ask them to be a sounding board for you, right? Ask them to play a mentor role, right? And don't take their time lately, right? Offer to buy them dinner at a decent restaurant and make yourself available at their convenience and be ready to take notes and ask good questions. Put your darn phone away. I can't emphasize that enough. So I'll leave it at that, guys. Drop your comments below and please, uh, you know, like and subscribe because the bloody algorithm. Thanks for joining me, guys. I will see you in the next one.